welcome to Friendly AI. I'm your host, Mike Colangelo, and as you can see, like everyone else who breathes air, I'm a huge fan of Star Wars. May the gravity be with you. And in case you didn't know, a new trailer for Star Wars Battlefront was revealed yesterday at the Star Wars Celebration in Anaheim, California. California, I miss my sister in the T-Rex. And just so you know, this trailer is using in-engine assets on the PlayStation 4 version. It looks sexy, yes, but don't be fooled. The real gameplay will not look like this. Don't fall for EA's tricks. Their address is 668, Neighbor of the Beast. So let me cover the main talking points of the new Battlefront like a school teacher that can barely use PowerPoint. There is no campaign mode, but there will be two-player co-op missions that can be played offline or online. There will be female stormtroopers. They look like regular stormtroopers, but with love bits on their chest. Anita Sarkeesian, you did it. You did it, sister. The official release date for Battlefront is November 17th, a month before the new Star Wars film, The Force Awakens, comes out. There's a free piece of DLC after the release that EA is offering called The Battle of Jakku. I never thought I would say EA and free in the same sentence, but there it is. The Battle of Jakku takes place right before Episode 7 in the Star Wars timeline, which includes two multiplayer maps on Jakku. Also, Jakku is the sound I make when I sneeze and cough at the very same time. Jakku! The Battle of Jakku DLC comes out December 8th, but if you pre-order the game, you can get it December 1st. But don't pre-order the game, don't fall for that witchcraft. And I hate to be a Debbie Down Syndrome, but there will be no space battles in the new Star Wars Battlefront. All dogfights will take place in the atmosphere on planets, and surely the maps won't be big enough for fun dogfights like previous Battlefronts. Epic burn. But on the bright side, the new Battlefront is completely ignoring those dreadful prequels and just focusing on the three classic Star Wars films. So you can expect all the vehicles, weapons, and enemies from the original trilogy. Help me Obi-Wan Kenobi, you're my only hope. Jewish Princess Leia, a thank you. Also the planets in the game will be Endor, Hoth, Tatooine, and Solus, a previously unexplored location, much like my genitalia. Women fear me, and I don't blame them. There will be playable hero characters so far, only two have been confirmed, the Dark Prince himself, Darth Vader, and Boba Fett. And I don't want to make anyone angry, but in my opinion, Boba Fett has always been overrated. I mean, what else did he do in the films other than fall into a Sarlacc pit? Anyways, moving on. And just like other Battlefront games, gamers will be able to switch between third-person and first-person mode during gameplay with a touch of a button. Now that all those talking points are over, let's go in deeper together. There has to be a better, classier way to say that. Yesterday, DICE's design director Nicholas Vergaris answered a deuce load of questions on Twatter. I'm not going to cover all of them, just the ones that I think are relevant, I need to eat, and nurture this useless body of mine. So first tweet, map sizes. Nicholas wrote, we have varying map sizes from large to small to cater to different experiences and different modes. But how many maps are there, Nicholas? There'll be more maps than eight and more than two per planet at launch. But what about frame rate, Nicholas? I got this, Dennis. It's 60 frames per second. But my name's Mike. Now, Battlefront is in deep in development, so what he meant was that they're targeting 60 frames per second for the consoles, which, as we know, is rare to accomplish that magic number on the PS4 and Xbox One. And the last question that I'm going to cover is that shield that we see in the trailer. Is that a power-up, and will there be more? Nicholas replied, yes, the shield is a Battlefront power-up, and we have many more to reveal in the future. So there you have it. I hope this video was helpful, and you learned something new about the upcoming Battlefront and my mental state. And if you still didn't learn jack shit, I'm going to leave links to my sources in the description so you can look at more words. Again, Star Wars Battlefront comes out November 17th for the Xbox One, PS4, and PC Master Overlords of Planet Jakku. What are your thoughts of the new Star Wars Battlefront? Are you excited? Turned on? Have a craving for little garlic pickles? Let me know in the comment section below, please. Gonna be honest, which is rare, I'm kind of worried about Battlefront because I'm afraid it's going to be rushed for the new Star Wars movie, and I hope I'm really wrong about that. And yes, I love the previous Battlefront games, but I I felt there was always something missing with them. Some things they did so right and other things not so much. And as for my Twitter bird Aloysius, he does everything wrong. That would be your cue. There we go. I really need to get on Instagram. This is getting out of hand. Follow me on Twitter. It'll be the best choice you ever make in your entire life. And just like EA, I tend to oversell. But I will keep you up to date with gaming news and my videos. Also remember to like my Facebook page. Rolling Stones called it, and I quote, the future of social media. Thank you very much for watching. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And I have a confession to make. Last night, I cut open a Tauntaun, not to stay warm, but so it wouldn't run away from me. Just like everything else that I've ever loved in my life. That's how I get ready. <laughs> May the gravity be with you, and also with you. Oh yeah, Star Wars, there's uh, uh. there's Captain Snooku, there's Gen General uh, Gollum, and uh, Bilbo Baggins of Baggins. Yeah.
I also need a little compartment for uh, 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 sex. If my wife could just see a series of unveilings, I might be happy. That is why the latest unveiling from Electronic Arts has my attention. Like when an owl hears a mouse. <laughs> <laughs>